Welcome to Midwest Sportsnet. I'm Joey McWilliams, and it's an honor today to get to be visited by a couple of players from the Central Dutch football team. Well, a couple of players, a couple of integral parts of the Central Dutch football team, Coach Jeff McMartin in his 18th season with the program, and quarterback Blaine Hawkins. And Coach, I know you're not a player, but uh, I, I know <laughs> you definitely are key to uh, the, what's going on right now at Central and what has been going on for so long. A consistent program this year, though, 9-0 and once again, regular season champions of the American Rivers Conference once again. I, I know there's a, a, one more regular season game remaining, and, and we can talk about that a little bit later on, but I want to congratulate you on what you've done so far coming off a 56-7 to win over Dubuque last week and, again, claiming that outright title. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. It's been an exciting season for us, and, uh, you know, lots went into this, and, uh, you know, credit to our players, and we have a great staff, and, um, you know, our coaching staff does an awesome job, and, um, you know, it's been a process uh, of, you know, just continuing to get better, and, you know, I think that we have really – uh, evolved over the years you know we, we won a title in 2009 and went undefeated and then from that point on we kind of had to <clears throat> we kind of got to a point where we really had to kind of not reinvent ourselves but we had to really focus and, and work on the culture of our team and how we go about doing things in the process and just kind of take our program in a different direction and it got to a point where you know, we were about as good as we were going to get, and uh, we wanted we wanted more. We wanted to be a better team and have a better program than that. And and so it's been a lot of work uh, with our staff and and on the culture of our team and the off season with our strength staff has done a great job. And and uh, and then getting the right players. And uh, we feel like uh, we're in a place right now where we have a, a really good group of people here. And and so we're we're seeing a lot of the benefits of those things. And so. It hasn't just been a one season thing or a two season thing. It's really been really for the last eight or nine years of kind of finishing second and third and mostly second and just wanting more. And, and I think that this group, this team it really embraces that and they want more. And, and so it's been fun to watch them go out and compete. Well, Coach, in your 18th season with 107, 137 and 42 as a record, obviously it's not just a one-year deal. It's been something that's consistent and it continues to build. Now, 9-0 and this season, it's 16 consecutive regular season wins as well. You were talking about the players on this team, and I'd like to ask you then, I know each year it's, it's different. Each group, the chemistry is just a little bit different from one year to the next. What do you see in this year's team when you look at them and you think that, yeah, they have a real chance every time they suit up? Well, I mean, uh, <clears throat> we have a we have a great group of, of leaders in our program right now. The, the leadership on our team has been outstanding. There, you know, everything that's needed to get done has been addressed and it's gotten done, and we've been timely. and And people understand, you know, kind of where they're at. We're in a, a very much of a performing phase of this team right now, where. Um, you know, guys are, they're, they're just, they're going out and they're doing it because the other stuff off the field and in practice and in the weight room has been running really well and run smoothly. And I think that that's a, a big, uh, kind of a, it tells you a lot about the leadership of your players and kind of where they're at. And, you know, we do have a number of guys that came back for this fifth season. Uh, I think we're 15 of them. And, uh, and then you couple that with the seniors that are true seniors this year. And we have a great group of people that, have really helped our younger guys kind of understand and, and get them ready. And they've gotten ready. They've gone out and done it. I think we have a lot of talent, uh, just athletic talent on our team. Uh, we're very just athletically we're across the board. We're, we're just pretty athletic and that, that helps a lot too. We may not be the biggest or necessarily the fastest, but I just think from an athleticism standpoint, that's been really good. And, and, and these guys have, have had a great work ethic. They've been willing to do the work. Uh, they are a, a team that has shown, um, you know, ability to whatever you put on their plate, from work workload standpoint, they accept and they embrace. And uh, I think that this is a physically tough team, but I think more importantly, it's a mentally tough team. And we've worked really hard on that aspect of our game. And I think that that was something that was really evident in 2019 and that's really carried over. Is I think that where they are from the mental side is, is in a good place. And we're going to find out again tomorrow, but I mean, it, they're de they definitely passed that test for the first nine weeks. 
We're speaking now with the head coach of the Central Dutch football team, Coach Jeff McMartin, and also <clears throat> with his starting quarterback, Blaine Hawkins, one of those 50-year players. And we're right here on Midwest Sports Net. I encourage you, please subscribe to the channel where we talk about small college and sports and more uh, throughout the Midwest and beyond. One other thing, too, really quickly, yesterday was Veterans Day. We want to give a shout-out to all of our veterans and say thank you very much for the freedoms that we that we get to enjoy, and it's because of you and your sacrifice. So thank you very much. Uh, Coach, really quickly then, you were talking about the players on this team. There's one of them in the window right next to you that's been an integral part of this team for so long, and that's Blaine Hawkins, a fifth-year player from Ankeny. And he's obviously, the, the numbers are there. The numbers speak for themselves. I mean, we're talking about 10,000 now passing yards. He's going to cross 3,000 passing yards tomorrow, uh, right off the bat, he's on pace to do that very, very quickly. And the record book for Central Football, it's like somebody just went through the offensive stats and just took his name and copied and pasted it just over and over and over again. What's it like getting to have somebody like that on your team and, and being a part of, of the, the process like you've been talking about? Yeah. Well, you know, first of all, you know, I, I, would, I have to give Blaine a lot of credit on his, his work ethic and his ability to be a student of the game, you know. From his freshman year on, he's shown up at every meeting with a notebook. He's been meticulous uh, in his notes and his preparation and in the film room. Um, he's put the time in. And it hasn't just been – he hasn't just kind of rolled out to practice and like, all right, what are we doing today? You know, he he's very uh, knowledgeable about the game. He's very much a student of the game. He's very much in tune with our coaching staff. And Coach Mayer, our offensive coordinator, is also our quarterback's coach, him and him and Coach Mario have a, an excellent connection and a, and a great relationship, and they work really well together. And, and I think that he's embraced that. You know, you, you, never, you never have to tell Blaine, hey, we need you to do this, you know, or get, get ready. He's already doing those things. Um, he's, he's done a great job in the weight room. He's transformed himself. I mean, if you see Blaine Hawkins on film as a freshman and you see Blaine Hawkins now, he physically looks different. He's improved. Um, and he's someone that, you know, as a quarterback is just – he has the right mentality, the right mindset. You know, if you could, if you if you wanted to make the perfect quarterback, you you would have, you would you would use what he has mentally because um, he's very even keel. He doesn't get too high or too low. Something good happens, something bad happens. He's really on to the next play, and it's it's just very, um, it's almost just machine like, and and uh, and I say that in the best sense. I mean, it's yeah. there's uh, just this sense of uh, a, a drive and uh, and a focus that is very unique he's someone that knows what he wants to do before it's even done you know i can't tell you how many times you know we're on the headsets and coach my will say you know call the play and be like okay you know we get we get what it looks like he says okay blaine should go here blaine should do this or they're giving us this we've got a good one-on-one -on -one matchup here and that's where exactly blaine will go and uh and i've been on headsets long enough with people um and i've done this long enough that that's not the case with most quarterbacks or, or most players. You know, a lot of times you can you can work with a guy all week long and be like, okay, if they give you this coverage, you know, you're going to – it's where you want to attack it. And you get in the game and you're like, no, why did he go here? Why did he do that? And, you know, we just don't end up asking those questions with Blaine. And so I think that that's a huge, a huge tremendous uh, compliment. I'd also say with Blaine, uh, he has an ability to extend plays. He's really athletic. And he, he, he can run with the ball tremendously well. Uh, we have just kind of – kept that aspect of who he is as a foot, as a quarterback. Um, we've kind of restricted that a little bit because we really believe in what he does from a leadership and a throwing the ball standpoint that we, we need him to be on the field all the time. And, and uh, you know, you, you know, we all have so many hits in us and, and we want to make sure that he's on the field. So yeah, if, if we ever really just said, you know, no worries about injuries, no worries about tomorrow, we're just going to cut this thing loose and live for today. Um, what he would do on a football field would even be beyond what he's doing right now because of his ability to run the football as well as throw it. Um, he has a great deep ball thrower. You know, not every quarterback can throw the deep ball well. He does, but he also has gotten a great touch and, and can play small ball with you if you have to. And so he um, knows where to go with it. He, he can make the throws. He can extend plays with his legs. And he just has a mind um, that's very unique in the game of football. And so I would say that those are the reasons why – he's had the success he's had and why he's been a starter since his freshman year. And, and uh, you know, you're not going to find a better football player out there than Blaine Hawkins. 
Wow. Coach, I, I, that means a lot. I think that's incredibly cool. Blaine, I want to give you a chance to talk now, although I know it's kind of hard to follow that uh, I, uh, and to get to hear that too. I think it's very interesting to hear what could happen if they, if he might take uh, just a little bit of the guidelines off there a little bit and let you run a little bit more, but you don't want to use up all those hits and, and you have hopefully a few more games ahead of you for, for this season. With that in mind, Blaine, fifth year player, and, and I think that's a little bit I don't think it says everything because you played last year, but it was only two games. So it's not like you were running up the numbers last year to to add things up. You've done a great job of that all on your own, really in four years, just plus a couple of games last season. Talk about your time there in Pella, what what it's been like then getting to play for the Dutch and, and be a part of this program. Yep, um, definitely when I came in uh, just out of high school, didn't have uh, really any expectations uh, to be playing right away or to have um, a kind of career like this. Um, but, you know, just how circumstances ended up, I had the opportunity to kind of get my feet wet early in my career. And, you know, yeah, as Coach Max said, looking back at some of that film, you know, like I can't believe that was me. You know, my, my throwing motion has changed a lot or I'm not capable of making maybe the, the, the correct read sometimes. And, you know, I think um, that's definitely just been a big part of my development is I've had a lot of those reps and, you know, I've made a lot of those mistakes. So, you know, by the time, uh, you know, it's the fourth or fifth go around, I'm able to kind of avoid um, some of those pitfalls that I might have fell into when I was a younger player. Um, I'd say, um, yeah, definitely it's been a really great journey overall. Made a lot of lifelong friends um, at Central College, and I think that's kind of a big part of why we have such a large um, group of fifth-year guys back. Um, you know, we kind of have a, a special bond there and also have, uh, you know, are really driven to follow the same goals. And, um, you know, that's kind of why we came back for this um, extra year. So it's been a really uh, special experience so far. And, you know, I'm looking forward for it to continue um, over the next month or two. Well, it looks like you have a pretty good offense around you too. And, and I know that, you know, we talk about that side of the ball with you in particular. Coming into this season, you had – three games in which you had thrown six touchdown passes, and that was the record for the, the the athletic department for the football program there. Right now, coming into today, where we are right now, your last five games, each of them you've thrown six down touchdown t- six touchdown passes, and that was preceded by a game in which you threw seven. So obviously you, you have uh, good players around you as well. What's it like to, to, to be part of such a prolific offense because you're, you're getting the job done? Yep. Um, I feel really lucky, I guess, when I'm out there on the field, um, knowing that I got guys who I trust and who are, you know, superior athletes, I think, um, to most of our competition at all positions, whether that's offensive line, wide receivers, tight ends, or running backs. Um, so, you know, it's kind of on me just to get them the ball in open spaces. Um, they kind of take care of the rest. Uh, two guys, Tanner Schminke and Eric Kanak, I've been playing with um, since my freshman year in 2017. So really have a lot of confidence in them. And I know, you know, They'll bail me out if I don't make the best throw and I can trust them to make those one-on-one plays. Um, then I give a lot of credit um, to our guys up front. Our, our offensive line has been really solid this year. Um, you know, we also, we've we been throwing the ball a lot, but we're also very capable of running the ball. And I know they like it when we run the ball. You can get downhill, <laughs> on people, but, um, you know, they don't complain when we're throwing the ball too much. And they've really done an excellent job giving me a lot of time to throw um, – makes my job a lot easier. You know, I'm not worried about getting put on my back every, every, uh, every play. So, um, you know, I just feel, feel really lucky. And, um, I guess, yeah, it's really just a perfect situation. And I give those guys a lot of credit, um, you know, for the work they've put in over the last few years to really develop. And, um, you know, just as I've developed as a player, I know those guys have, and, you know, they're much better players this year than they were in our junior year in 2019. And I think, um, even this year we've continued to see that growth and, uh, that's kind of a, a theme for our whole team. We're trying to just take it one week at a time and just um, really improve each week. You know, maybe the opponent we're playing that Saturday might not be the best team we'll see all year, but we know at some point um, we're going to come up against some really tough teams and we want to be ready for that. And that's kind of just been the theme for us this year. Well, the growth looks like it's continued 90 0 now on the season as you're heading into the final game of the regular season. Coach, I ask you then uh, along those lines, I talk about a prolific offense. It's definitely that, and the numbers really show that, too. 53.3 points per game, that's tops in D3. But it's a pretty stingy defense as well. Uh, You're going to win a lot of games if you're scoring a lot of points and not giving up as many, just 16.3 points per game on the defensive side of the ball. Does one predicate the other, and uh, how exactly what – what? which one's building off the other one? Well, you know, I think that it's interesting. We just talked about this as a staff uh, this week, and – our offense coordinator actually just kind of brought it up too. Is like we we 
our offense has really benefited from the fact that our defense has gotten us the ball back and, and has continued to stop people. And, um, you know, if we're able to get some scores and get some stops, that puts a lot of pressure on the other team. And then that they kind of get outside of maybe what they want to do with their game plan. And, and, and that's been really helpful to us. Um, you know, our defense has been tremendous this year. They've played really, really well. They've evolved over the course of the year. I think they've just gotten better. And I think that we're seeing them right now playing some of their best football. And this is exciting to see that uh, up front. You know, uh, Blade Drabala is having a great year. Hunter Maddie's having a great year. Uh, a couple of our seniors up front, they, they do an awesome job. And and uh, and really the whole defensive line unit, you know, uh, all, all guys that, you know, across the board have been great about defeating blocks and being where they're supposed to be in the right gaps and creating pressure. And, and that's been really good. Uh, Josh Van Geisel, our middle linebacker, has just been tremendously um, rock solid for us. And he's very good against the run. He's really good in pass coverage, a lot of the underneath stuff. Just a really good athlete, can play sideline to sideline for him. He's just a sophomore. And so, you know, that's exciting. And, and then I think that where we've seen, you know, a tremendous amount of growth is in our secondary and improvement. In fact, two of our our, our start two of our starting safeties are both backup quarterbacks. So in, in <laughs> fact, uh, um, and they both you know both were Blaine's backup at one point. And, and when we recruited them, we knew they were great athletes, and we we felt like you know depending on how things shook out and uh, on the depth chart and everything that 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 eventually could be the case that they would be on the defensive side. And so it's really nice to have that kind of leadership and kind of have that quarterback mentality back there. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that that's created a lot of turnovers for us and just given us a lot of confidence. Um, you know, Braden Igley especially has just really stood out this year. And, um, you know, Cam Bannister is the other quarterback and, and that they're both playing safeties. And they just – they make plays. They, you know, Cam Bannister coming off of a two-interception game last week. And, and Braden just kind of like – he just gets everybody where they're supposed to be. And there's not anybody that will hit you harder than Braden Igley. I mean, he just – he loves to play the game. and. And there's only one way he plays it, and that's just, you know, all out. But uh, our defense has been great. In fact, it, it's kind of deceiving, I think. Um, you know, they they have given up 16 points a game or whatever, but when you look at when they leave the game, what the score is, yeah. in most games it's three points or seven points or something. It's not it, it's not what the final score looks like. And we've, just, we've been fortunate that we've gotten ahead of people and had sizable leads and had the opportunity to play other people. And sometimes when you do that, you'll give up a touchdown or a score or something like that. And it's really not indicative. So I, I really, I think, I feel like our defense is even better than like what the numbers show. Um, but we're going to find out on Saturday, we're going to be really <laughs> tested this week. And so and it'll be fun to kind of see, see that growth and watch our defense go out and perform. Well, thank you very much guys for your time. And I want to wrap this up here with a question for both of you then. And and I know Blaine that, uh, you you want to be playing, like I said, another month or two, and that that would be cool. So I'm 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 hoping you get that opportunity to play for as long as absolutely possible. Let's let's let it go on for a few more weeks. With that in mind, though, is there anything ahead for you? What are your goals, and uh, what direction do you think you're going to take when the season does ultimately come to an end? Um, I've been been working on that a little bit. Obviously, uh, getting a job would be top of the priority list. Um, I'd probably be number one, move out of my parents' house. Um, <laughs> looking at looking at uh, venturing outside of Iowa for the first time in my life is kind of the plan. Um, not haven't haven't got a job yet, I guess, but interested in some um, investment management type stuff. So we'll see how that goes. I'm trying trying to pursue some of those avenues right now, and uh, maybe enjoy some warmer weather than. Um, Iowa at this time of year. <laughs> well, Oklahoma gets warm. Uh, I can tell you that for sure. So uh, <laughs> that, uh, but anyway, I, I, I'm sure with what you've learned from Coach McMartin and and his staff, uh, learning about investments and going more there, you'll have a sharp mind for that. So, Coach, then let me ask you really quickly. And you mentioned this, uh, of course, uh, you're going to be taking on Buena Vista. That's tomorrow, Saturday's game into the regular season. You head to Storm Lake for that one on the road and uh, five and four point Vista team, but that is a little bit, I think, deceiving as well. They've won three of their last four games, and actually, it was a tight one against Go too. So uh, you you know, and you've seen the film going in uh, without giving away state secrets. Uh, you know what what do you see this weekend and talk about the matchup? Yeah, I mean, we're playing a hot team. Uh, you know, Buena Vista probably is the hot team in our conference right now. Um, and, and taking nothing away from Co. I mean, I think Co's definitely improved as well as the, the seasons wore on. Um, but the, you know, their team that can score a lot of points. I mean, they're I think statistically second in every offensive category behind us. And so they're they can put up big points. They can put up a lot of yards. 
They can really stretch you. Their their quarterback is somebody that's very very much a dual threat, um, and they they will run him and, and they run him a lot. And uh, their tailbacks done a good job. Where they've really improved is up front. Their offensive line is really solid, and they've done a great job. Um, and then their receiver cores, and they have a a wide receiver in, in number five who is an all American type of receiver. Uh, he's top ten in the country in catches and touchdowns and scoring. And so uh, Eric Pacheco is his name, and uh, we're gonna have to do a great job on on kind of uh, making sure that we slow him down. Uh, you're not going to stop that guy, but slow him down and, and do a good job with everyone else. And so a, a big challenge there. Uh, defensively, they bring a lot of pressure. And so how well we can see that pressure, um, how well we can protect Blaine in the passing game, and then be effective what we want to do in the running game, where we want to run. Uh, those are going to be really important parts of this football game. You, you know, and, and so it's a big challenge, a big test. It's a good test for us. Uh, I think it, it's one of those things where it kind of gets you ready going into the postseason. You know, it's not like we're playing a, a bad team. We're playing a really, really good football team and a team that we know uh, wants to win this game. You know, they're, they're, as far as wanting to win it, there's nobody wants to win it, you know, more or less than anybody else. I mean, both teams are going to go out there wanting to do it, but it's going to come down to how well we execute and how well we tackle and get in the right place and how well we block, you know. A lot of it's going to be what we do up front in our offensive line that's going to determine the success of our, our team up there. So it would be a great challenge. All right. Well, we look forward to, to seeing how this all turns out. One more regular season game for the Central Dutch, and then the playoffs uh, are, are going to be after that. Gentlemen, It's the privilege has been mine. Thank you so much for taking time with me today here on the Summit on Midwest Sportsnet. Success to you and to the Dutch. Thank you to Jeff McMartin and to Blaine Hawkins for being with me today, and, and I appreciate it. And, and God bless you all. Have, have a, a long remainder to the season. Thanks. Thanks. Blessings to you, too. Appreciate it.